Townies weren't frightened of anything. Who's that then? Night, night. Sleep tight. I only hope the bugs don't bite. Whoever she is, don't like her. See you in the morning. Aren't you hungry? Please, Auntie Amy. Mm -hmm. Are they Megs? Of course they are. Don't you like fried eggs? No, no, it's just... You only have powdered at home. Well, you try these. You'll like them. And about time too, madam. Anybody think you've been up half the night? This is my granddaughter, Polly. After breakfast, she'll show you what's what and where's where. That was the last thing we wanted to hear. We didn't need anybody to show us what's what, especially not the phantom tapper. But for the time being, it looked as if we were lumbered. have to learn is to watch where you're putting your big feet. Next time you might turn on an unexploded cow pat. we we'll get her for that. Yeah. Later. Neither of us had been anywhere near a farm before. It was a different world. New sights, new smells, and a surprise round every corner. <coughs> Being attacked by chickens was the final straw. We'd had enough of animals. And enough of Polly as well. It's like being on holiday, this. I've never been on holiday. What's it like? It's like this. Suddenly, the holiday was over. We were used to being surrounded by exploding bombs, but cows? Now, that was a different matter altogether.
Uh. Ah! <laughs> Frightened the cows then, were you? Well, yeah, of course I was. And I'd never seen a real cow before. The least I got to a farm was the park. And that was all uh, flower beds and keep off the grass signs. There were no animals. Not even ducks? Well, yes, there were three to start off with, but they mysteriously disappeared once they put meat on ration. Ration? What was that? Well, it was all about uh, shortages. Shortages? Yeah. If there was uh, not enough of something to go around, the people with most money would buy it all. And the people without money didn't get any? That's right. And that's not fair. So, to stop that, well, things were put on ration. I mean, take, uh, take sugar, for instance. Now, there wasn't enough sugar. So, everybody in the country was given a ration book with coupons in it. Coupons? Yeah, coupons. In fact, there's a ration book here in the scrapbook. So, if you wanted to be sure of your fair share of sugar, you had to give your coupons in. I mean, no coupons, no sugar. Oh, lots of things were on ration. Uh, food, clothes, sweets, petrol. It's a good idea. Yeah, but, well, there was a problem. What was that? Well, if you could get hold of something that was on ration and you could sell it without coupons, well, people would pay a lot of money for it. Buying on the black market, it was called. Shouldn't have been allowed. Well, it wasn't. It was against the law. Tea? Oh, yes, please. Cheers. Professor C.D. Rom here! Oh. oh, no, not again. Is there no way of having that thing on without him popping up? Hmm. Now you, Sturkey, you spell your name I-R-E-R -E -R or U-R? I-R-E-R-U-R? -E yes, they can all spell Sturkey. Uh, but I are not Sturkey. No, I mean, I'm not Sturkey. Not? And you are. Never, never mind what he is. <laughs> My name is Starkey with A-R. Well, why didn't you say so? Starkey. Ah, as in park and farm. You know, the place where you find cows. <laughs> now, listen, I wasn't the only one who was frightened of cows, smarty pants. A lot of evacuees were for a start. I mean, a farm is an alarming place if you've, well, just come from a city. Quite right. Now, pay attention. A stay on a farm can do you great harm. Don't be fooled by its chocolate box charm. The cow by the cart may not look very large, but it's a bull for a start, and it's going to charge. A stay on a farm can do you great harm. Farmyard dogs should be viewed with alarm. With the snarl of a bear and the teeth of a shark So you'd better take care Its bite is worse than its bark A stay on the farm And do you great harm For a bit of a lark Just stick to the park so, why didn't you stick to the park, then? Well, we didn't have any choice. I mean, it was really dangerous. Cities were being bombed. In fact, a lot of children were evacuated from the cities to the country where it was, well, supposed to be safer. But who did they stay with? Well, anybody who'd take them. In fact, some people who didn't really want them. Isn't that right, Professor? Uh, exactly. I agree. The Mrs. Miseries of this world weren't exactly filled with glee at the idea of having to look after an evacuee. Especially boys. They wanted nice little girls, as you'll see. Here you see an evacuee. She sits with a gas mask upon her knee. Dances with glee when she sees a tree. Terribly bright, don't you agree? Oh, what a sweet evacuee. She does just what I say. Best of the three, so right for me. This one can stay. This one can stay. Lucky for you, Aunt Amy wasn't like that. Yeah. Oh, no, Aunt Amy was special. That's uh, why I wanted to write the story. Why come back here to write it, though? Well, I just thought there might be things here that would help me remember it all. You know, sometimes a key will unlock memories for you. 
keys. I'm never going to find the right one. This, um... Now, this was the first key that started me thinking. Do you, um, do you know what it is? Some sort of label. Well, this was pinned to my coat with my name and address on it. Why? Well, it was something to identify me by, so I didn't get lost. Why? Were you too shy to speak? No, no, no. no. Everybody had one. Here, let me have a try. Oh, please. What about this one? <coughs> Before you do, I couldn't help noticing there were rather a lot of words that had something in common there. Now, see if you can work it out. I spy with my little wife The strangest things up in the sky First, a giant butterfly Chasing a plane that's passing by Why, why, why? Oh my, can that be a sty? Well, who'd have thought that pigs could fly? Here's a sight to mystify A polar bear in mid-July Why, why, why? I spy with my little why the strangest things. Brilliant! Oh, toys! So, how did you escape from all those cows? was amazing. She simply walked straight through them. After that, we just had to be friends. Now, let's get one thing straight right from the start. You may not like the idea, but it's perfectly reasonable. This is not a holiday. Can't expect to live here for nothing, can you? I mean, after all, we didn't ask you to come. Well, what are you waiting for? Clear the table. You know, I was. Do you reckon that's enough? Yeah, you carry it. Ranger from the hall. Come on. What's he doing? She's giving him money. Money? What for? It's the rent. He's our landlord. We are be on the settee when every man comes. Bit of a struggle, isn't it? Now that your son's away. Well, he's doing his duty. Others could do the same. It isn't right, though, is it? I mean, an old woman 
trying to run a farm like this all on her own. I told you before, the only way I'm leaving here is for the churchyard. What if I were to make it worth your while? Say £300, if you promise to get out straight away. Mr Granger, this is my home. I've lived here all my life. My father was born here, and his father. Sentimental rubbish! There's a war on. This country needs every last scrap of food it can grow. That means running things properly. People like you are just holding up the war effort. Don't you talk to me about the war effort. My boy's out there risking his life while others are sat at home, making money hand over fist. You are going to wish you hadn't said that, old woman. Things are going to get worse round here. Much worse! And when they do, I'll have you out on your ear, Earl, without as much as a penny. Do you understand me? And, and you will not get away from the car. <laughs> get out! throw you out. Not as long as you keep paying the rent. I know that. It's the law. I know. But running a farm is hard work. I don't know how long Grand can keep going on her own. But she's not on her own. There's us there, isn't there? I don't mind helping out. I'm not milking no bull. <laughs> you milk cows, not bulls, stupid. Well, what'd you do with bulls, then? You don't need to know that. If the old fool won't go of her own accord, she'll just have to be persuaded. Do you know, that's just what I was thinking. I mean, accidents do happen, don't they? <laughs> Bit of all right, there's chops. Surprising what that butcher can come up with when he's desperate for cigarettes. Nothing. It's all right here, isn't it? Except for the dark and the quiet. I hate that. Makes me think there's somebody out there. Don't be daft. But Dennis was right. There was somebody out there. 